All right, this, we, we have to hurry right now. If I can get past my motor. At least it stopped raining, as you can see. I gotta, th all right, I, I have to uh, talk while I'm driving. I hope my camera doesn't fall over. I'm just gonna go ahead and hold the camera. Welcome to another episode. I am, uh, it's, let's just start with the time. It's 3.53 right now. Man, that is really loud. 53 right now, and around where I live, it gets dark around 4.50 to 5 o'clock. That's when it, you know, starts getting dark, and it's pretty much getting dark right now. So that's when it, like, gets pitch black. Let's just put it like that. It was raining all day. I really wasn't planning on going fishing today, but thought about it, and I was, you know, it was just an in-the-moment decision. Let's put it like that. All of a sudden, I was just like, you know what? I'm going to go fishing with, you know, probably an hour left until it gets dark. So with that said, at least the rain has stopped. It's been raining all day and at least that has stopped. But, but the twist today is, well, first of all, I'm doing a challenge and I haven't done that for a while. I literally brought my mystery tackle box of December and I, have, I haven't even opened it. I'll, I'll unbox it once I get to the actual place, but I literally have not even cracked the seal on it. So I don't know what's in there and we just slid like, you know, a boss. But with that said, I'm going to put the camera up and figure out, because I don't even know where, I don't even know how to get here. I, 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 like I need to type it on my phone. I really don't know how to get here. So I'm gonna work on getting to the pond and see what happens. now here at the pond let me turn my windshield wipers off here is the mystery tackle box as you can see the seal is still on there I'm nervous right now but we better hurry up anyways so we're just gonna go ahead and open it up okay hey, look at this what is this <laughs> this is actually I've been wanting one of these for a while so I am happy about this but I won't use that today we got a sunfish which is a topwater bait okay that's uh, 0 for 2 curly tail crubs uh, 0 for 3 possibility. We have uh, mustad swim bait hooks and we have a crankbait, which is looking like the best choice. I'm going to set that over here. And we have uh, some bruiser baits, crawls right here. So I got a few ideas. Uh, basically, what I'm thinking right now is I'm, I'm going to concentrate on the crawls right here. And believe it or not, I'm going to rig them with these. And this is not actually, this is this this rig actually has a name. I think it's called the Rage Rig. I, I believe it is called that. And uh, I have used it before, so it's not it's not that bad. Rig the crawl. The crawl falls like this way. What would that be? That would be like horizontally, right? Yeah, the crawl falls horizontally down. I feel like this could be good. I just don't know if it dives a little too deep for a pond. But that is what we're going to use. Uh, I am pretty excited about... This, the, actually the sunfish and the this optimum bait swim bait uh, if I had a way to rig it I might toss it around a little bit tonight but I don't uh, this is the catch co uh, sticker I guess I thought this had to do with Halloween I don't know it's pretty cool though look at it all right that's it and then you got your uh, your uh, your little magazine I'll read that later stop talking it's 416 I have like 45 minutes to get fishing so I'm gonna leave the camera in here because it is starting to rain a little bit and then I'm just going to go ahead and put the GoPro on and see if I can't catch a small gel today. All right, as you can now see, you're now on a head mount, but that's what you're that's what you're looking through right now is the head mount. And it's like basically almost dark, like it's dusk. I'd call this dusk in December. So I need to figure out, like I tied this knot around my, oh my gosh, this is gonna be rough. I don't know how to get this off. Okay, there it goes. So I'm gonna start off with the crankbait. I have a feeling I'm gonna take this crankbait off really soon because I think it dives too deep. So we're about to find out. All right. All right, I think Mr. Crankbait is diving just a little too deep. So like if I'm fishing the uh, the middle, it's fine. Like it, it would work fine. 
And I'm sure like maybe I could pick up some fish out in the middle. Last time I was here, I caught some fish out in the middle with a jerk bait. But I'm also, I also feel like there's a lot of fish right up on the bank. Okay, I think I need to head straight to the juice. All right, I put on Mr. Crankbit again and I tied an absolutely terrible knot, but what's up, man? This is private property, no fishing. Okay, yeah, I'll go. Really in right now. All right. I'm sorry, man. That's uh, all right. You be glad you didn't catch it. Huh? Be glad you didn't catch it. Catch what? Oh, uh, one of the big fish in here. Oh, okay. Three thousand dollars of fish. They're imported to clean the. Well, I'm I'm sure as you've been able to uh, deduce that we uh we got ran off of there. I guess they didn't want me fishing it. That's the first time uh, that somebody has actually said something at this spot. And uh, there's signs that say like don't feed the wildlife. And there, there's I know specifically there's no signs that say no fishing. Uh, I forget what the other part is, but I I, I mean I guess. You know, he kind of said, uh, I turned the GoPro off, but he kind of said, like, I guess fishing is feeding in, because I brought up the point of the signs, you know. Regardless, you know, I have to, I have to, it's not my pond to fish, you know. I mean, <laughs> I have to do what they say. I'm just saying, I wish I would have been able to fish tonight. Uh, and uh, we did not get any bites, so that was a uh, a disappointment. It, it, it is starting to rain. I was actually somewhat happy. Uh, the only plus to getting kicked off was I get to get out of the rain and, have a very good excuse for not catching a fish like I pretty much haven't in the last two videos. So at this point, there's really not much left for me to do other than to go home and uh, the fishing I feel like is getting worse where I live. I just feel like everywhere is getting pressured. It's just getting, it's just going downhill. Uh, but I'm gonna meet you guys back at my house. I will see you there. We are now back at my house. It's uh, 6.09 right now and as you can see and already tell we uh we failed again today but you know that's how it's going to be until it warms up around here uh but that's how it is you know right now around where i live and where i am you know the fishing is getting tough because it is turning on into you know winter the fish are starting to get less active uh plus you know tonight everything was against me but uh, i just wanted to talk to you about a few updates for the channel uh for the next year and I am going to college in the spring uh well the spring semester but it starts in January I'll, I mean I'll be going to college in like four weeks uh so I am doing that so you will be seeing a lot of college related fishing videos uh I know I will be filming at some of the college tournaments uh that I'm fishing for uh so I will be going to college finally I mean not finally I only took one semester off but I am doing that uh, number two is I wanted, I am going to travel more next year, uh, with college and with other stuff fishing related. So I want to start branching out and showing you guys different content, different types of fishing and stuff like that, uh, versus just, you know, what I typically have been doing. And number three, a lot of you are starting to wonder what am I going to do during this winter? And I have a few trips planned this winter to keep, you know, fishing videos coming in. And they're a little bit different types of fishing. I'm going to travel a little bit. So that's when, you know, this is going to probably start is around January. And I'm, I'm, I'm excited for it. I'm, I'm excited for the new year. Uh, I'm excited for things to come that are in my fishing career and also with you guys through YouTube. And if there is anything that you guys specifically want to see, let me know. Because uh, next year things are going to change a lot. And I think... You know, things are starting to change on YouTube this year. This was a really big year for, you know, the overall fishing community. And, uh, you know, next year, I think it's going to be a good year. So, with that said, I honestly say this all the time, but I want you to know is when I say this, I really, really do mean it, and I just don't say it half-heartedly. I appreciate your guys' support, every single person on YouTube that is watching me or through my social media, every single one of you. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Have a good day. Happy holidays. Peace out. I'll see you next time.